Hey, it's me again. My hand looks weird. Ethan, for those of you who know me, what's up? For those of you who don't know me, what's up? Anyways, today, sorry, the sun is like really bright in just certain areas. It's, it's being weird and then it's like in and out. But anyways, um, today I just wanted to discuss something that I feel has been kind of pivotal for me and my progress and that I feel should be potentially pretty pivotal for everyone else's as well as you're on your journey to self-improvement as I'm on my journey to my own self-improvement is learning to forgive. I feel like a lot of people struggle with it, you know, and then those who say they don't still are in that place of oh i forgive but i never forget and i feel as though if you need to say that then you probably aren't genuinely forgiving because no one ever said you have to forget right you don't have to forget it's not implied that you're gonna forget because you forgave you know you just you're forgiving right no one's saying that, for example, Jesus forgot when he was crucified, but he forgave the people that crucified him, right? You're forgiven. It's not a thing of, oh, hey, I forgive you, but I'm always going to remember this. You, for you forgive them. Or in certain instances, you forgive yourself or both, like in my case where I needed to forgive others and I also needed to forgive myself because, you know, I wasn't always proud of the person that I was. I wasn't always proud of the person I had allowed myself to become. I had, you know, done things in my life that I wasn't particularly proud of. And there would be moments where I would feel ashamed or disgusted or like I couldn't even recognize myself whenever I would look in the mirror. But, you have to forgive yourself, you know? And I also had to forgive a lot of other people because I spent a lot of my life blaming other people for my traumas. And regardless of how big a hand they may or may not have played in it, why? You know? The longer you hold on to that grudge, to that guilt, to that shame, to that blame, the worse it's going to be for you because you will continuously seek that excuse. You know, that excuse to keep being miserable, to keep feeling guilty, to keep feeling ashamed, to keep just keeping yourself down. And why do you why would you want to do that? Right? If you're trying to progress, if you're trying to become better, if you're trying to become a better person, if you're trying to feel better as a person, why would you want to hold on to any of that? So I guess in a way it kind of ties into the, the message of the last two videos about letting go. You can't really let go of anything until you've forgiven first, right? And obviously it's it's a lot easier said than done. It's, it's pretty difficult to accomplish. I think I only got there because I genuinely just reached a point in my life where I was very, very, very just beaten down. You know, I was just very exhausted. I was very, uh, just not in a good place. And I think through that, I, I really came to the conclusion that I needed to change. Something needed to change. And that what better place to start than with forgiveness. <laughs> I started forgiving the people that I felt had wronged me. I had forgiven the people that Maybe I felt didn't deserve it. Forgave them too. But then most importantly, I forgave myself. And that was probably the, simultaneously the easiest and the hardest part of forgiving, was forgiving myself. The easiest and the hardest person to forgive at the same time. It's hard to explain, but if you get there, I feel like you'll understand. Or if you are there, 
than you probably understand, you know? Because at the same time that it's incredibly difficult to forgive yourself, compared to everyone else, it's also a lot easier, you know? So it's simultaneously the hardest and easiest person to forgive is yourself. Because other people you can forgive all day long, you know? It's not as difficult as you might think. Of course, everything is kind of a, a mental roadblock, right? You have to overcome those mental hurdles to, to really get to that point. But you just got to do it. No matter what it takes. Because that's, that's the only way you're going to get better. It's the only way you're going to feel better. It's the only way you're going to get better. It's the only way you're going to be better. Is by starting with forgiveness. You know... They say, God forgives you. We are created in his likeness, so on and so forth. If God forgives you, if God can forgive you, why can't you forgive you? I guess that's kind of, uh, again, it's a lot easier said than done. But... I feel like it's what everyone should strive toward. It's the first step of many, obviously, but it's a pretty, pretty big leap. It's a pretty good place to start in the journey of making yourself better. I obviously still have a ways to go, but I know for a fact, I can personally guarantee that who I am right now, today, shout out to Kevin Gates, right now, today, is a lot better mentally, emotionally, whatever, what have you, than the person that I was two weeks ago. That is a fact. And I kind of owe it to me reaching that deep, dark pit in the first place. Because if I never reached it, I probably would have never actually sought out, you know, this journey for myself of becoming better, you know, of reacquaintancing and strengthening my relationship with God, you know, of reacquaintancing and strengthening my relationship with myself, forgiving others, you know, beginning to live a life that I would have been proud to have been leading when I was a kid, working towards it, at least, you know? Anyways, I think that might be it for today. As always, if you wanna talk or you just need someone to listen, I'm always here, I'm always available. The, the, my social medias will always be in the description below. You can always feel free to reach out. You are not alone. You're never alone. You are cared for. You are cared about. Just never allow yourself to feel that you are alone. Because you're not. And, uh, yeah. Just be better. Start right now. Peace.